everyone! Good afternoon! Welcome back to the channel, Paid in Europe. <laughs> Medyo na awkward din pa rin akong sabihin yun, but yeah. Welcome back to the channel, guys! For today's video, we're not going anywhere. As promised, I will be discussing about the questions, about the interview thing. Yung interview na pinagdaanan ko para maging isang au pair. Itong mga questions na to guys, randomly arranged. Konting story time lang. Now, I was expecting that the interview will be so formal, but when I talked to the owner of the agency and the, sa, sa isang staff nila, casual talk lang siya. I really loved it kasi parang they're really trying to make you feel na maging komportable ka lang. It's just a normal conversation. It's just getting to know you more. Of course, kung masyado ka kasing formal, you know, hindi lalabas kung ano talaga yung personality mo. And those are my thoughts kung bakit ganun yung setup ng interview. So, these were the questions, guys. Let's dive in. Let's get into the video. First question, very typical question. Hey, can you tell us something about yourself? Um, please introduce yourself. And yeah, of course, um, first thought, for sure, name natin, personal information natin, you know. Ang tip ko lang sa inyo, guys, try to share something about your family. How do you feel with your current job? Tell them something about your parents and yeah, stuff like that. Yung mga personal information mo, for sure, alam na yun nila, nabasa na yun nila sa resume mo. What are the things that you really want them to know about yourself? Siyempre, binibenta mo yung sarili mo, di ba? So, magpakatotoo ka lang din and try to be comfortable. Take note of that. Pangalawang question, guys. Um, how did you know that there's this program called Au Pair? Um, narinig ko siya from a friend and I tried to search about it. Uh, I looked for agency na tumutulong sa mga gusto maging Au Pair, Facebook, sa Google, and that's how I found your Facebook page, your website, your agency. Ganun. Um, third na nilagay ko dito, guys. So, how do you deal with your problems? Um, I told Ate Kams na when I have problems, I just need people who would listen to me. And my friends are there. I've been doing a lot of things here in Thailand. I said I'm, I'm vlogging. I enjoy uh, long rides. Um, marami akong pleasure, sabi ko. So, pag may problema ako, isa sa mga bagay na yun ang nagko-comfort sa akin. So, that's how I answered. Mindset, you know, it's just a matter of mindset na dinadamdam ko lang yung mga problema ko and uh, I have this mindset na lilipas din. So, kayo, how do you deal with your problems? Yan, nagmumukbuk ba kayo? Ganon. Paano nyo ba sinosolve yung problema ninyo? You know what? Ngayon, at this very moment, ko siya na naiisip na day they really have to ask this question kasi nga pagdating mo dito for sure makaka-feel ka ng homesickness and aside from that may mga for sure may mga external factors so may mga problema ka outside may mga problema ka sa ibang aspect so they have to know how do you deal with those kinds of problems so next um how do your friends describe you naalala ko to um, yeah, so how are you in the group? Well, my friends told me that I am a source of positivity in the group. I communicate well. I mean, I try to keep good relationship with my friends um, no matter what. So, ganon. Jolly, cheerful, yeah, uh, things like that. And I try to explain. So, yun guys. Kayo, paano nyo siya sasagutin? Ngayon pa lang isipin nyo na, sasagot nyo doon, okay? Next, why do you want to be an au pair? Yeah, this is a very, very important question. So, bakit gusto mo maging au pair? Mm, if you're an au pair, you can explore, go to this place, go to other countries. You have the benefit to visit and explore Europe as much as you want. <laughs> That's what I know about being an au pair. Um, there were things that I told myself I wish I knew. But, yeah, that's why I'm doing this, okay? That's why I'm sharing to you my experiences. Para magkaroon kayo ng mga ideas talaga bago kayo maging au pair. So, yeah, why do you wanna be an au pair? O kayo, paano siya sasagutin? Bakit niyo gusto maging au pair? Yun, sabi ko na gusto ko mag-explore. That was really my intention and that's really still my intention. I really wanna explore. I really told Ate Camille na, you know, Ate Camille, I'm vlogging. I wanna share something new on my YouTube channel. Gusto ko muna magpahihigit 
dahil nga sa teaching. I really wanna try to take another path aside from teaching. I will learn something from this. Kayo guys, what are your intentions? Why do you wanna be an au pair? Ganon. Ito, bonus question ko sa inyo. If you're a teacher there in Thailand at napapanood mo ito, why would you want to give up your teaching career? <laughs> your stable career over um, au pairing program. Why? Charap. <laughs> Nanigaw naman na. I will leave that question for you to ponder on and yeah, uh, have something to think deeply. Okay? But ako guys, yeah, I really told myself naman, honestly, I just wanna rest for a year. Gusto ko lang talagang mag-rest muna sa pag-teaching dyan sa Thailand because, you know, kung teacher kayo dyan sa Thailand, alam nyo kung gaano ka stress din kung minsan, no, not minsan, but most of the time. What are the different kinds of stress, stress dyan sa Thailand? So, I, I feel you guys, I understand you, and I hope you understand me too. <laughs> so, ganun guys. Okay. Next, number six. What are your expectations? Reto na alala ko, baka makalimutan ko na naman. Yeah, tip ko sa inyo guys, please make sure na maging klaro sa iyo and sa host family mo kung ano yung mga ibibigay na nila sa iyo ng mga benefits. Like, ito, take note of this. Say, for example, your weekend off card and your load, your mobile uh, data. Kung free ba nila yun sa iyo or ikaw ang magbabayad. Kasi nga, di ba, eh, kung napanood yung aking previous vlog, diniscuss ko doon kung magkano lang yung allowance. So, imagine kung ibabawas pa nila yung iyong weekend off card and yung load mo, yung mobile data mo, guys. Um, konting-konti na lang yung maging allowance mo. So, this is very important na you have to ask your um, host family or you can also discuss this with um, the staff from the agency pag nag-interview. So, ilista nyo siya sa mga expectations niyo Okay? Para pagdating nyo dito, hindi kayo ma-disappoint. Okay? And you can't blame also, guys, the agency or your host family of whatever happens um, about, I mean, relate, relating to these um, things. Kasi, kailangan klaro talaga siya from the start, okay? So, you have to really ask about your weekend off card, your other benefits aside from accommodation and food and your plane ticket papunta sa ano, allowance and all that. Maharlins dito, Jai. Maharli ka ang mga bagay-bagay dito, guys. Um, Alright. So, next one. What's your plan after you finish the program? So, ako... Ako, <laughs> of course, yun sabi ko nga, di ba, I'm planning to go back to the Philippines and maybe kung hindi suswertehin doon or walang magandang opportunities, so for example, I can always go back to Thailand or mag-apply ako sa Taiwan. Kasi nga, nahire na ako sa Taiwan pero hindi ko lang inasika sa so yung papers kong pa Taiwan. So, um, yeah. Kasi nga, bawal dito guys na magstay ka ng more than a year sa country. Like, after ng one year of being an au pair, talagang kailangan mo nang umalis dito sa Netherlands or dito sa bansa or kung sa bansa ka man naroon and lipat ka naman sa ibang bansa. Pwede ka namang mag au pair sa ibang bansa. Pwede mo rin naman yung sabihin, I, I am looking forward to um, another opportunity na mag maging au pair sa ibang bansa. Habang pasok pa yung age ninyo or... You can simply say, babalik kayo sa Pilipinas or babalik kayo sa Thailand or wherever country na na, 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 kung nasan kayo ngayon. Okay, so yeah, yung interview mo with the agency, questions din yun na itatanong sa iyo ng host family. Um, ito yung naalala ko talaga din na tinanong sa akin ng host family, guys. Is there any specific things you like or dislike that you want us to know? I shared that I am vlogging, so I am expecting that on my free time, Kasi, mm, aminin, sa pagiging teacher natin dyan sa Thailand, kapag free time mo, hindi mo free yan. <laughs> um, sa Badulinggo is work, work, work. Work, 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 work. Diva? So, ito talaga yung sinabi ko sa host parents ko. Um, so, I really um, want my personal time, my me time, or my private space to be mine when it's my off. Um, because I am vlogging and I edit my own videos. And I want my free time to to be spent on 
exploring outside and yeah or or if i stay at home i want my free time to be just mine yun naging direct talaga ako sa kanila guys sinabi ko talaga yun Magan maganda naman at uh, i mean maganda naman yung naging feedback nila of course of course sabi nila kasi alam niyo guys sa mga european talaga guys very ano sila sa free time nila like pag off off Pag trabaho, trabaho. Pag off, off. Ganon. So, na-learn ko yun siya, guys, sa mga katrabaho ko dyan sa Thailand na mga Europeans din. So, na-apply ko siya talaga ng bongga. Ano pa ba? What do you think is your strength? Uh, ah, yun. Ito, tinanong to sa akin. Like, what's your, what do you think is unique about you? Sabi ko, I think I have this ability to communicate my thoughts, express my feelings, how do I feel about certain things. And I think that this will really help me in, in communicating with you as well and in maintaining my relationship with you. And this is also what I, I want actually from you that if you have something, if you have anything, like you have concern about my job, about my tasks, you can directly say it to me. Let's see what we can do about that, about issues and concerns that involves me sabi ko ganon so yon communication sabi ko whatever issues and concerns will come up um let's just talk about things diplomatically sabi ko ganon so yon parang yan na lang guys ang mga naisulat ko kasi yan na lang mga naalala ko guys <laughs> So, yun guys, ito may tatlong tips lang ako sa inyo na pwede nyo yung i-discuss with your host family or with the staff from the agency pag nakausap nyo sila during the interview. Ask about their previous au pair para to sa host family. You ask them like, so do you have um, au pairs before? So, that way, uh, magkakaroon ng idea yung host family mo na talagang, you know, you're trying to secure things and you're interested to know kung meron silang unang naging au pair. Siyempre, mahalaga rin na malaman mo kung okay kaya ang relationship nila with their previous au pair. Um, yeah, things like that. And uh, maganda kasi guys kung merong silang au pair before. Para at least meron na silang experience and somehow ma-assure mo din na na alam nila kung paano ka din i-treat as an au pair. So, yun. Next is ask about your schedule. Yeah! Very important to guys. So, let them give you an overview of what you're going to do with them. Like, ano yung weekly schedule mo? Typical routine na, na mag magkakaroon ka pagdating mo dito. Of course, mahalaga yun. Baka mamaya, uh, during the interview, sasabihin sa'yo na bahay, yung mga gawain bahay ka lang din pagdating mo dito. Masusuk ka na lang na ay magbabantay ka pala ng bata 24-7. Ganun. <laughs> so, may mga cases na ganun, guys. So, beware. And, yeah. 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 <laughs> Last thing, guys. Um, discuss things that you know about au pairing. Yeah, when you're, especially when you're asked about what you know about au pairing program, of course, try to research about it, guys, para magkaroon din kayo ng mga things to discuss um, with your host family or with the staff from the agency. And, you know, try to make them feel that you know what's what's an au pairing program, um, ano yung mga rights mo, ano yung mga benefits mo, para malaman din nila na, ah, talagang nag-research to about au pairing program and alam niyo yung ganito, ganyan. So, yeah. These are the important things that I really realized as well na nandito na ako. I'm sharing things to you through my YouTube channel para hindi kayo masyuk pagdating niyo dito. Okay. Yeah, um, you know, I really enjoyed being an au pair. I also have my what ifs. I have my I wish. But generally speaking and overall experience as of the moment... I love it. <laughs> May mga days talaga na down and down, um, you know, homesick, and there are some things you wanna change, but you can't. But all in all, guys, I love my experience being an au pair. And, um, tinitreasure ko na lang yung moment, and, um, you know, ang bilis lang ng one year. Who knows, makikita nyo na naman ako sa ibang bansa or baka makita nyo ako sa Thailand. <laughs> so you guys, I think that would be all for today. I hope um, kahit pa paano nakatulong ang video na to. Alam ko marami akong hindi pa na, hindi na sali sa mga questions. That's why I'm telling you, isusulat ko na lang siya dyan sa baba sa description box. Check nyo and ilalagay ko na rin ang mga links na makakatulong sa inyo kung kayo ay interesado maging au pair. And if you haven't watched my previous vlogs about au pair, I already have 
six i guess or five vlogs um related to uh operating program here they are guys so nandito lang yan sa channel ko and yeah please if you like this video and you think that this is helpful you are very much welcome to like it and share it <laughs> and please let me know your thoughts about this video um, isulat nyo lang dyan sa ating comment section and you have suggestions or if you have comments or if you have anything in mind na gusto nyo sabihin, please let me know. Guys, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe! And wag nyo rin kalimutan na itap ang ating notification bell here. Here? Here or here? <laughs> ang ating notification bell para kayo ay magiging updated sa aking mga susunod pa na vlogs. Be it uh, sitcom vlogs or outside outdoor vlogs. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. God bless you all. Make good choices and spread love. Bye!